Hello, and thanks for joining us today for our discussion of rapid weight loss diets. We've got Carrie, one of our registered dietitians here at Bistro MD, and she's going to share with you some important information about rapid weight loss diets, fad diets, and why these drastic measures can put your health at risk and very rarely work. Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, first, I want to take a look at some statistics about the obesity epidemic and why we're really discussing rapid weight loss. So today, more than one-third of the U.S. population is obese, and on also 17% of all children and adolescents. When you add together the number of adults who are obese and overweight, you are looking at roughly two-thirds of the entire po adult population. And we are also heavier as a nation than we have ever been before. So if you look at the scales on the right side of the slide, you'll see that in the 50s, only 9.7% of the population was obese. This rose to 11.3 in the 70s, and in the 1980s we hit 23%. And that brings us to the present day where over one-third of the population is obese. So consequently, there is a lot of interest in the topic of weight loss in the media, and especially with product advertising. So it's very easy to get caught up in the fad diets that promise you the moon, but can end up doing your body more harm than good. So before we dive into the most popular fad diets, I would like to take a moment to discuss the founding principles of Bistro MD. So at Bistro MD, we are committed to life-changing wellness, knowing that proper nutrition can help to prevent many of today's most prevalent health conditions. We believe that food is medicine, and like all forms of medicine, it is healthiest for your body when taken in the right doses and on the correct schedule. Okay, so now we're going to look at some popular fad diets, and first you need to know how to spot a fad diet. These diets are notorious for rapid weight loss claims. They're very easy to spot in their advertising and almost always includes like the model in the bikini. They make promises of very rapid weight loss and with most things in life, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. It's also important to remember that you didn't gain all those extra pounds overnight. So weight loss should not be expected to be that fast either. Okay, so first we're going to look at liquid diets. The diets I am referring to are similar to the lemonade diet and others that are sometimes called detox diets. They make huge promises of how much weight loss you can lose from just drinking a liquid meal replacement. This is where the little warning flag should go up, and ultimately these drinks are far too low in calories and contain minimal protein. So you might see a rather dramatic shift in body weight downward, but it's going to be comprised of lost water weight and lost lean body mass, not necessarily fat. So following a diet like this is also very likely to be uncomfortable. So much so that it might lead you, leave you irritable and cranky just from the lack of energy your body is suffering from. And one of the worst parts about these all liquid diets is that you get to eat no real food. So you might get some nutrients in the form of additives to the liquids, but these nutrients are not delivered in the way nature intended them to be. So this sort of diet is really a cop out in taking ownership of a real life transformation formation and you're not learning anything. So instead it's best that you are in control of your future health and not this gross liquid diet. So next I want to comment on a diet that's receiving a large amount of press these days and that's the HCG diet. HCG stands for human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone which is a pregnancy hormone that's injected daily. This is combined with a strict low calorie diet of 500 per day so if you're thinking 500 calories and what would that look like? It would be just an orange for breakfast, a small portion of tilapia with some vegetables for lunch, you could have another piece of fruit in the afternoon, and then dinner would just be a skimpy crab, spinach and melba toast, and some tea. Not a lot of food. Additionally, in most studies there is no scientific evidence that has indicated the HCG hormone aids in the weight loss process. So because of this lack of evidence, and the lack of reputable scientific studies conducted on the long-term health effects of the hormone, it has been deemed dangerous by the FDA as recently as December of 2011. Another thing that should make you take a pause about this diet is that the complications of long-term usage remain unknown. So the diet is deceptive since there is no evidence that the hormone has any effect whatsoever on weight loss, and conventional wisdom tells us that what weight is lost is going to come from hardly consuming any calories at all which is less than 500 a day. There are also a number of common fad diets that focus on one food item. 
or allow you to eat as much of a single food as you want as long as it's a certain food. I am referring to diets like the cabbage soup diet or the grapefruit diet. The grapefruit diet is often said to have near magical ingredients that burn away calories fast. And it's combined with a relatively low calorie meal plan of 800 to 1000 per day. And any food item or beverage not on the meal plan are strictly off limits. The cabbage soup diet is even less forgiving. Cabbage soup is literally the only food allowed on the diet. And both the cabbage soup and grapefruit diets limit the variety of foods a person can eat and they're so restrictive that they don't help you improve your eating habits or behaviors. They also tend to lead to cravings for foods that have been forbidden on the diet and you know this might lead to some binge eating in the severe instances. Also when you only feed your body some of the nutrient needs or too low calories it can go into survival or starvation mode and this often leads to the retention and storing of fat and that's not exactly what you want to see when you're on a diet. So the diets I reviewed with you all lack proper nutrition for weight loss. They all lack the most basic foundation of healthy weight loss, which is lean adequate protein. Adequate protein is important to protect your lean body mass and maintain a st stable metabolism during weight loss. As you have all probably heard in the past, muscle burns more, fat, more calories than fat. Protein should be included with all meals and snacks which will also help with hunger and satiety as well. Good choices of protein include chicken, lean pork, lean cuts of beef, and legumes. One thing that is missing from each of these fad diets that I've reviewed today is a structured program designed for weight loss. If you look on the right hand side of this plate you will see that a quarter of it contains the lean adequate protein, half is full with non-starchy vegetables such as spinach, romaine, carrots, and broccoli, and the last quarter contains a controlled amount of carbohydrates in the form of fruit or healthy starches. So now think of weight loss more than just food and more than just exercise. Your metabolism can be compared to a fire. In order to keep it burning you need to add a log periodically or it will die down to embers. So now if you relate this in terms of food, diets that are too low in calories with not enough food will send your body into starvation mode and you will be left with embers instead of a bonfire as your metabolism slows down. Many people who are on Bistro MD and have died in the past are shocked at how much food is provided on our program. These regular meals and snacks deliver proper nutrition every three to four hours throughout the day to maintain an elevated metabolism. The snacks are also important in keeping you from getting too hungry. If we eat before we feel hungry, we are more likely to stop when satisfied and not overeat or binge at meals. Whereas many diets are viewed as restrictive with skimpy portions, Bistro MD delivers proper nutrition through lean adequate protein, bountiful vegetables, and whole grains. So ultimately, the lesson today is that rapid weight loss diets do not lead to lasting changes for your health or your body. They promise a large amount of weight loss in a short period of time. However, once you resume your old habits, the weight goes back on and the cycle of yo-yo dieting begins again. Bistro MD is here to help people experience life transforming wellness. With Bistro MD, you receive food in its natural form and have the support of registered dietitians and a knowledgeable staff along your journey towards health. And also remember that this meal plan has been profoundly transforming the lives of Dr. Cedarquist patients in her practice for many years. And it is a refreshing opportunity to truly take ownership in your own health. I want to thank everyone for joining me today, and remember everyone here at Bistro MD is always willing to help.